Hello everyone and welcome back into my kitchen. Today I'll be sharing a meal that you can throw together very quickly in the middle of the week when you know you're short on time and it's going to be really delicious and everyone's going to love it. Come on, let's do it. Right, so here's what we'll be using to make our quick baked pasta dish. Now I'm using these uh, bow tie pasta. I think they're called farfalle. I'm not sure if that's the correct pronunciation. Anyway, my grandbabies like these, so that's what I'm using. Um, I cooked about three quarters of the box, so that's three quarters of a pound. Uh, and I'm cooking it per the packet specifications, but it says go for 11 minutes. I'm going to go for nine minutes because this is going in the oven, so um, I don't want it to be overcooked. I have four cloves of garlic, half of a medium onion. I'm gonna blend these, get it in here, and we'll start working on our meatballs. Now, if you wanted to, you could skip this and just use powdered um, garlic and onion, but I'm just, I have this, I'm gonna use it. So I've started to saute my onion and my garlic in one tablespoon of oil. Um, you can use any oil you want. I use some um, olive oil. I have here some thyme. Going with about half of a teaspoon. Also going to use uh, some oregano. I would say about a full teaspoon. A few cracks of my pepper. And um, I have here some turkey meatballs. And like I said, this is a quick meal, so I bought them frozen. We have here about, maybe about 20, 25 of them. I'm gonna put them in here so they can heat up and also have a chance to absorb some of that flavor. All right, so now that this has had a, ch has had a chance to saute and um, get some brown coloring and my garlic and my onions cooked, I'm going to, I don't think I mentioned this is for my grandbabies, so I'm trying to sneak in some veg. And peas and carrots they like, so that's what I'm gonna put in. Uh, I'm sure spinach would work really well here too. But I, I feel like if I put spinach, they'll be less likely to embrace it. I'm just going to add a little bit of my chicken bouillon, just about a quarter of a teaspoon, because my veg is not uh, seasoned. So, yeah. So I'm gonna let this go here again for maybe another minute and a half to two minutes, and then we'll assemble. All right. So here's my pasta that I cooked already. I'm going to add in just a little extra flavor with this herb garlic um, seasoning. There's no salt in this, so it won't affect um, our salt content. I'm also using this inexpensive pasta sauce. And I'll go in with about, maybe about a cup or so and mix this up. This is not rocket science, guys, but your family's going to absolutely enjoy it. So I have my baking dish here, and I'm going to be using, I'm gonna put a little bit of, um, sauce here on the bottom. Spread it around. I've also greased it for extra assurance. And I'm gonna get in half of my pasta. I think that was more than half, but oh well. Okay. You can certainly add more um, sauce if you like. I have here some uh, Monterey Jack jalapeno habanero cheese. 
You can use uh, mozzarella, cheddar, anything you want. I have that, so that's what we're going with. And now, we're putting our special surprise in the middle. Make sure everyone gets a bite of that goodness. You always have to remember to season on every level, okay? So we seasoned our pasta. Make sure you season it very well with um season it very well with um salt. All right, I'm gonna put now some more sauce here and my last installment of pasta like a glove <laughs> mm. all righty now what we're doing is just heating this through that's all so I'm going to say, you just want to do it until it's bubbling. Let me add some more sauce, finish it off. And I'll smoothen it out and um, get it in my oven at 350. And I would say maybe 25 minutes or so it should be done. Um, for the last five minutes, I'm going to pull it out and then add some more cheese to the top. And... Um, yeah quick meal you can get this together in, you know active time 10, 10 minutes and in the oven 20 25 minutes and yeah great midweek meal okay guys Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you make this quick meal for your family because I think they're going to love it. Come on back next time because I'll be sharing more recipes like these in addition to all kinds of other things. You know I'm always all over the map. So <laughs> I'll see you next time because you know I'll be preparing another delicious recipe. Bye.